Hello guys, Andrew, welcome back. In this lesson, what we're going to do is to start working with our UI elements and also create the coins. This time we're gonna use the carrots for our course. So the first thing we'll do is to create a nice header that has a dark you know, uh, sc screen right here. Well, let's just go ahead and do this. So I'll just click on add new object and I'll click a tiled sprite and I'll just call this, uh, let's say UI, UI header. And I'll cre create with Pishkel. Pishkel. All right, cool. So I'll pick a, uh, I'll just use the default black and save this. And I'll call the text file UI, the image file UI. And just like that, we have our UI and we'll click apply. So what I'll do is just drag this over here and place this. And here, if you have the instance selected, just click on it and then go over to the base layer and make sure this is on the UI layer. And what we'll also do is to just stack this UI layer and put it right on the top because the UI layer is going to be the topmost element. So let's just place it down here. And it's not going to be intrusive because our player is down here. And what we'll do is just drag this to the edge of the screen for now. Since it's a UI element, we're later going to anchor this element so that it uh, doesn't disappear. So let's go ahead and click preview. And just like that, we have a nice header right here. Like I said, we can actually stretch this in such a way that it's always going to be auto updating. We'll actually see that in our future lessons. So the next thing we're going to add is some text object. And the best way to use text, uh, I'll just show you two kinds of texts. And let's go ahead and set this one. So we have the text, this displays text on the screen, but a bitmap text gives you an extra punch because you can easily use custom made fonts you find from sites like the font. So let's go ahead and create a bitmap text. And let's just call this our score like so. And so what we can do is if you drag this and drop this over here, and if our instance list is up, we'll just click on score and go over to the base layer and then set this to the UI layer. Now we can actually see some text right here. If we double click on score, it has a property called text and this is what we are actually going to be working with. And I'll just put the number zero right here and hit apply. And we can actually see this zero object right here. We need a way to you know, kind of like have a text to tell us what this score is. So let's say, let's create another one. So let's say add new object, uh, bitmap font, like so. And let's call this our, uh, I'll call this digits. And what we're going to do is to just create this uh, colon symbol. Is going to represent a digit. And we'll just click on digits and drag this and just place this over here and jump over our instance and click on digits. Make sure we set digits to our UI layer and we'll just drag our digits over here. So for better uh, settings, we can just turn off our grid and just drag this over here and drag this over here like so. And then we'll create a last one and I'll create a uh, bitmap font, bitmap text. And let's call this our counter. And hit apply. And this will just be a placeholder for our text. So again, let's click on counter and then set this to the UI layer. And let's just change the text for counter. And let's call this uh, carrots. So this is simply going to be a placeholder text. Nothing more, it does nothing more than this. So we'll place our carrots over here and I'll just zoom in, pick in our score and our digits. So our carrots and our digits are just going to be placeholders over there. So now here's the cool part about using a bitmap font. I'll double click on carrots and I'll head over to the file to choose a bitmap font file and here, I'll just go ahead and click on G Develop Projects. You can find the fonts over here and we could say, uh, let's try the Minecraft font and click on that and click open. Now you're not done yet. Let's import that to the project. And what we're going to do is to select the Atlas image. It's an image that contains all the font characters 
we actually going to use. So let's head over to GW projects, go to fonts, Minecraft, and you can actually see this image. Let's see if I can zoom in extra large and you can actually see these um, characters. We can actually open this and import that to our project. And once we hit apply, this is what happens. So we get a custom text we can actually use to uh, kind, of, yeah, kind of see this looks cool, right? So this is the my, uh, Minecraft text from the font. Let's quickly do that to this other font as well. So let's double click on the digits, head over to the bitmap font file, click choose a file. And one means I'm in fonts, Minecraft and select this like so. We'll click OK. Next, let's pick our Atlas image, which is this image and hit apply. I'll import that to our project folder, hit apply. And let's just fix that. And lastly, we'll try and work with our score. So let's choose a file. Pick our Minecraft score, like so. And then for our Atlas image, let's pick, choose a file, and then click the Minecraft image and click OK and hit apply. So there we can actually see we have our carrots and we have a nice carrot counter. So what we're going to do finally is to import our carrot asset. So let's go ahead and click add new object. It's going to be an animated sprite. We'll call these uh, carrots like so. Hit apply. We should import our animation. So I'll click from choose a file. And we'll go to GW projects, our first project, our assets, our forest files, our PNGs, our sprites, our miscellaneous sprites, our carrot. And there you can actually see our carrot. So let's click open. Let's preview our animation. Uh, let's set it to loop. And let's click uh, preview. Now that's super fast. So let's see what happens when we uh, make this point one. Let's say point one. Click on preview again. Okay, that's super fast. So let's say uh, point four preview. Okay, I think point four is uh, <laughs> too much. So let's try point two and click preview. Yeah, I think I like I like point two. So let's hit apply. Now what we can do is to drag our carrots and just place our carrots in various places in our level. So I'll just drag this instance of carrot. And what we can do is to set the carrots to be the same layer, UI layer as our player. So our player can easily kind of like collide with this. And we'll just click on duplicate and have this carrot here. Duplicate. And let's add a few of these just floating around. So click on this guy, right click and go to duplicate and just place these any way you want. Now we can actually create these objects when our game is starting. We can specify points where we want to spawn these or when the player has moved in specific distance and then spawn these carrots. But for now, we just want to keep it simple. So let's go ahead and see what we've done so far. So here we have a nice UI layer with our carrots and we have our carrots. We have our character moving like so. Right now, our player cannot collide with these carrots, right? So she can't do that. And uh, in the next video, what we're going to do is to see how we can set up our player to collide with these carrots. If the player touches these carrots, they disappear. And then we can see how we can increment this value. So see you guys in the next lesson.